Since the dawn of Apollo, there was only one company that has been the primary supplier of spacesuits for NASA. This company called ILC Dover. But for the first time in an unusual scene, SpaceX set out to fly humans on board its spacecraft with its own custom-created spacesuit in-house. Elon Musk's company worked with NASA for three years to develop the black-and-white form-fitting one-piece suits, as well as the spaceship overall, called Dragon. This flight also marked another milestone for SpaceX to be the first time people have ever flown using a commercially developed spaceship, and also the first time NASA astronauts have launched in an American spacecraft since 2011. Musk has focused on the appearance and cool-looking suits. He said he wanted to design a spacesuit to inspire kids to become astronauts and don the uniform themselves. To get them fired, Musk said. How did they create such an iconic engineering spacesuit? And is it really the same suit Starman uses in his journey to deep space? Join us today as we give a sneak peek at this incredibly smart wearable tech and learn what is so special about SpaceX's spacesuit. SpaceX is one of the most leading companies in the space industry. They are claiming to manufacture all needed stuff from every little thing you can imagine here on our planet to greenhouses on Mars. Design and unique looking products are the most important factors that distinguish this company from any other. Elon himself always makes sure of this in each product his companies produce. For example, in SpaceX's last rocket design, Starship, he drew inspiration for Starship design from a Sasha Baron Cohen movie and emphasized them to make it pointy. But as we know, design and good-looking products are not everything. More importantly, they have to be functional. When these two aspects are found in a product, it becomes more attractive and functional. And this is exactly what makes Elon Musk's products, either in Tesla or SpaceX, very successful. Talking about the cool-looking products back in May of last year, for the first time in a decade, NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken made history wearing SpaceX's new spacesuit, blasting off from Florida in a test flight to the International Space Station. Musk spent three to four years working with his deeply pedigreed Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who's behind Batman's iconic rubber six-packs, to design this super skinny pressure suit. The design is no accident. When Musk started to describe his ideas to Fernandez, he said, anyone looks better in a tux, no matter what size or shape they are. Musk actually wants them to look better than they did without it. Like a tux, you look heroic in it. After testing the suits, both astronauts confirm that the new suit is vastly superior to the bulky orange pumpkin space shuttle launch suits. We'd give the suits a five-star rating, Bob Behnken said. So let's dive more into this suit and see what is so special about it. The spacesuit is one piece with specialized parts that are considerably designed to be functional, lightweight, and it can offer protection from potential depressurization during launches and landings only. This means nobody can perform a spacewalk using this suit anytime soon. But despite this lack, there are many other features that distinguish this suit. With the visor down, the smooth ellipsoid quotes some of Keir Dulya's very cool space headgear that Stanley Kubrick had selected for his masterpiece, 2001, A Space Odyssey. In addition, Grammys viewers and all fans of disco, electronic, dance, trance will notice a strong connection in the NASA's helmet to the helmet sported by the ultra-shy French pop duo Daft Punk. Besides the stylish look, the helmet is custom manufactured using 3D printing technology, includes integrated valves, mechanisms for visor retraction and locking, and microphones within the helmet structure. Fernandez's NASA suits are made to travel, free of the dangle and drag of all the support apparatus of previous in-house NASA designs, with the power and life support systems relying on a single connection at the thigh. The idea here is not only one of the economy moves, but also one of flexibility and comfort. If the suits are made more livable, as Fernandez's suits are, then the astronauts will not waste energy fighting the cumbersomeness of their clothes as they engage in tasks in microgravity, or at least they'll waste less energy fighting them less. They are much easier to get in and out of in zero-g, Doug Hurley said. The suits were made in Hawthorne, California, in the same building as SpaceX's rockets. Each one is tailored to the crew member. They have been put to the test twice before, 
One was on a dummy at the wheel of the Tesla that SpaceX launched into space on its Falcon Heavy rocket in 2018, the so-called Starman. Another was on the dummy called Ripley that flew aboard the Crew Dragon when it completed its uncrewed Demo-1 test flight in 2019. They've been rigorously tested, Elon Musk said. After the suits have been proven to be effective before being worn by humans, then Bankin and Hurley were the first humans to test the suits while flying through space. And now we are on the verge of testing the same suits on the first all-civilian crew to orbit the Earth for three days. Inspiration 4 Everyone should be excited that this is a thing made by humans, for humans, Musk said. What do you think? Is merging elegance and functionality in space equipment important in the meantime? Let's discuss it down below. Thanks for watching.